they go to the museum in the morning, they come here in the afternoon, so they are really uh, excited being here and using the colors and using the, the pencil, having seen those masterpieces in the museum. I wanted to create a life-changing experience for the students, and uh, I think we've achieved that. Because I was thrown out of my normal setting in the States, I was almost jarred into this paradigm where I couldn't, I couldn't just be comfortable and do what I always do. I had to go above and beyond what I normally do. And the, the, do, an, uh, do artwork that was not average for me. It had to be, it was better, but it was, it was different because I was pushed into a different situation. The most important thing I'm taking back is the experience of Florence. The experience of being exposed to the real thing, the real work, plus the uh, good constructive uh, feedback that the instructor will give me. Uh, there has been, uh, everyone here has undergone a significant change in their work by being exposed to the teaching, and by being exposed to the art. My skills exceeded what I anticipated before I came. My, my technical skills, what I had learned from even other students here at the program, but just what, from, what I learned from the workshops, is very, it was very clear and it was very, um, as we were allowed, we were given some time to actually get to know this technique. You form a habit, and it gets in your own groove and this program shook it up enough that you could actually step back, analyze what you had been do doing earlier, learn completely new techniques, and then apply them. I never thought in a million years that I would ever be able to see David like inches from my face and just be in the same air and breathe the same air that he was sitting there. And I, was, I learned so much from Pontormo and Masaccio just by looking at their stuff up close and being like nose to nose with a fresco. I just felt like they taught me, like they were standing right there going, okay, Monique, this is how you paint drapery. Okay, Monique, this is how you sculpt a hand. You know, I just felt like they were all my teachers and I was really learning so much. It did happen. It really surprised me because uh, uh, you know I thought of being the, the first time of seeing the students, and also I didn't know exactly at what point they were. Uh, and uh, today it was a kind of a revelation. That, you know, each one is in a different state of mind. Some knows more than others. But they were. Uh, what is fantastic is they're really serious. They, they really love what they, they're doing, and we kind of shared a very nice time together. And I gave them a little demonstration on how to, uh, I um, uh, execute the so-called uh, model, the, um, uh, the work. And they were very attentive and, uh, and it seems they, they're really receptive. So th that uh, I find this very positive and worthwhile to, to spend some time together. There are different levels between them, but this, they have the same uh, characteristics. They like too much, very much to work. This is very important, and I had a very good experience with them in these two days. Oh, they're so great and so talented. Everyone here is just wonderful and extremely talented, and I just really felt like I fed off of everybody here. I just really felt lucky to be here. The artists were great. I think that was one of the best uh, parts of the trip because we got to go to their studios, see the environment they worked in, but we also had one-on-one -on -one with them where they were teaching us their techniques. I had uh, Antonio Cacciarini work, or I, I sat there and watched him sketch for like 20 minutes and uh, it, it just opened my view to what I need to do to be a better drawer and a better painter.
uh, yesterday morning, we went to the studio of Johnny Cacciarini. Just entering that studio, he, he lives in a, in a building that was frescoed in the late uh, 1600s. He, dis he told us he discovered the frescoes by accident. They'd been whitewashed. And he was trying to clean a spot off his wall. And as he rubbed it with a sponge, a face appeared. Now, that's just an extraordinary thing right there. It would have been impossible to have taught this course anywhere else than in Florence because these, these works are not unfamiliar to the students. They've seen them before in reproduction, in slides, in books. What is overpowering to them is to see them in person, to be able to have a personal inter interaction with them. I think the most important thing is that they come to Florence. We practically live in, in a museum, and uh, uh, if they're truly interested in the arts, that's the first point. Then, naturally, if they can share some experience with the artists who have been living here for practically half a century, why not? It makes it more uh, colorful. I think the museum uh, visits were really uh, great because I mean, you can do studio work at home, but you can't visit these great museums at home. I mean, I mean, you look around and see all the art that's been flowing you. Hey, how'd the Italians get all this stuff? Yeah, we don't have nearly that amount of stuff. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's the opportunity to really come and study how the great masters of the Renaissance did it. And that's what I was very interested in doing that sort of thing. There's a great opportunity to go out early in the morning or late at night, whatever you want, and go sketch all over the city. I mean, there's so many monuments and interesting things or people or figures or statues or whatever you want. You, you could spend a year here and not get it all done.